I've had several requests this year in 2020 for an update on our progress with our debts. So while I do report on it in our budget reports every month, what I took from that is people want a specific video where I'm gonna talk all about our debt. So that's what we're here to do today. Hi friends and welcome to The Budget Bounce. If we haven't met yet, I'm Jen and I talk all about our money on this channel. I talk about how we are spending our money, how we're tracking it, how we are saving it for the future, how we're paying down debt. And if you'd like to be a part of that conversation, then just leave me a comment below and let me know how you're doing with your money these days. And make sure that you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so that you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So I've got a new spreadsheet that I have started. It's in Google Sheets. That is a version of the original spreadsheet that I did with all of our debts in January of 2018. And I did our, um, I have a video called Our Debt Confession, which I'll leave the link down below in the description for you. If you haven't seen it, haven't seen it in a while, you might want to go take a look at that if you'd like um, to see that before we get into this. But I do have the things that we're starting, um, the starting balances, I do have them included on this new spreadsheet. So you can see them here. And what I've done is I've tried to really show the progress that we've made on each and every debt. Now I will give you a little spoiler alert and that is that the spreadsheet that I was working with in January of 2018 and the one that I have in July of 2020, um, there's a difference in them in that we had to add several lines to it because I said in our debt confession video that I knew that there were other ones lingering out there that I hadn't captured yet. We just hadn't gotten our arms around it. We were, it was all so overwhelming at the time and we, I just needed to get it out there so that I could face up to what we were dealing with. And so I did that knowing that there might be other things that would come out of the cracks. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this and I will go through everything one by one. Let's take a look at this spreadsheet that I set up and this has all of our debts listed on it. So you can see what it is, you can see what type it is, whether or not we paid it off, what the starting balance was in February of 2018, if it was something that was added after that that date, then I um, included that here so you could see how much was added. What the current balance is through the end of June 2020, what the total is that we paid off, and then the payoff date if that applies, and then I have a couple of notes over here. So let's just run through these. So we started out, we had, Matt had a tax bill. It was actually from 2014, and he had a paper route that he started in 2013. And so 2014 was the first year that we had the whole year and I didn't put any money aside and he was technically a 1099. And so he had a pretty big bill at the end of the year. So uh, we didn't have the money. It was like $3,600 and we had about $600 to cover it. So we had to set up a payment plan with the IRS in 2015. And so by the time we got to this in 2018, we were at the tail end of that plan. So we started with $244. We paid that off and the current balance today is zero. We paid it off in March of 2018. Then I had the city card diamond and that is a credit card that we owed $430 on. We got that paid off in March, 2018. These that I have highlighted here, these all were paid off with my tax return in March of 2018. So I got a pretty big tax return that year. Okay, take three on this statement. <laughs> There's a thunderstorm happening that just rolled in here and our dog is freaking out. So Matt had to come down and get her because she was hiding underneath my feet under the desk. Anyway, third try to say that all five of these, this, these first five rows were all paid off with my tax return in 2018. So we had $244 to the IRS, $430 to this credit card with City Card Diamond, $830 to this Visa, and then $1,720 to my Best Buy card. And we paid off our Trailblazer, which was $1,948 when we started. So all of those got done in March of 2018. So this next group is medical bills. We had a $273 bill that we paid off in April of 2018. 
we paid off another one in uh, for 258 in June of 2018. And then this one was in July of 2018. And that was $126. And at this point we are up to, let's see here, get that total over here. $5,828 has been paid off. Then we had to add a couple of things. So first of all, um, Matt's phone had broken back in 2017 and uh, before we started all of this and we had to keep making payments on it, even though he had a new phone that we were making payments on that too. And at the time it was just part of our phone bill. And at the beginning of all of this, I didn't think of our cell phones in terms of debts. Uh, they were part of our monthly cell phone bill, right? It's our mobile services bill. But the thing is, it's not mobile services. It's mobile equipment. And if you're making payments, if you're making installment payments on something, you don't own it. You haven't bought it yet. You're in debt. So we decided to move this into all, um, all of our phones into the debt section. So this was Matt's broken phone. We added it. It was $185. We paid that off in July of 2018. Then we had another medical bill to uh, another hospital bill. And so that came in and that got added and that was $287. And we ended up getting that paid off in July of 2018 as well. Then, and by the way, th the um, order of these being added has nothing to do with this date over here. When I say they were added, I mean like these were early on, but they were after I put the original list together. Then we have our Discover card. So this was my Discover card. We owed $9.55. We got that paid off in September of 2018. This 401k loan was Matt's and that was associated with his employment where he was working at the time that he got sick and stopped working. And his employment there didn't officially end until July of 2018, even though the last time he worked was July of 2017. When he Oh, I'm so sorry. My dog is underneath my feet and so upset right now because of the storm. Uh, when he left, we did not pay off the 401k loan. I actually have a note here that it went into default because we couldn't pay it. So it became a distribution is what happens. So um, the 1600 that we, we didn't actually put any money towards this, but this debt did go away. So we it reduced our total debt and we had to pay taxes and a penalty and all that good stuff at tax time on it. The next item is another medical bill. These next two were both associated with my husband's illness. So this was his um, family doctor and his therapist that he was seeing. And while we paid more than this, these were the outstanding balances that we couldn't keep up with. So um, at the time that I put our, our debt list together, this is how much we owed. And actually it built up a little bit more, but we kept up with them at a certain point. So we paid 302 to one and 718 to the other. And those were in October and December of 2018. Let's scroll up a little bit here. Next up is the Target credit card. This one was Matt's and he owed about nine, about a thousand dollars. It was just like 990 something. So I just put a thousand cause I don't remember exactly what it was. And that got paid off in December of 2018 when we called and settled for $640. I got, I did the whole, you know, we'll pay it off today. This is how much money we have. Um, I think I tried to do it for 600 and they came back with 640. And so, you know, that's $360 we didn't have to pay. So that was, that was fine with us. Then we have city card diamond again. And if you remember up here, we had that, we already paid that one off, but that was a card that was, it was like hidden in my purse, in my wallet somewhere. And I lost my debit card at Christmas time. So I had to use it. I, I happened when I was looking for my debit card, I found this credit card. And so I used it to get us through Christmas. And then because I hadn't been paying on it for, you know, nine months or whatever it was, I completely forgot about it. And so um, I missed the first payment and then I started making regular payments. And then when my, now you'll see here, there's a list of, of um, March, 2019 payoffs. This was all my tax return in March, 2019. So I paid $479 to pay that bad boy off again. 
And then that's when we paid off our cell phones. So these were our existing phones at the time. We went ahead and paid both of those off. So um, that was March 2019. Then I have my Tires Plus card. We had maxed that out doing repairs on our old cars that we have. So um, again, I fell behind on that and set up a, a payment arrangement with it and paid off uh, $1,746 in March of 2019. My Kohl's card we paid off in 2019. So that was awesome. Actually, you know what? I don't think we paid off Tires Plus until June. I'm going to put, I think that was June. I think I, I put that in wrong uh, because I didn't have that much come in in my, in my, uh, I had a nice, tax return, but it wasn't that much. We did pay off my Kohl's card. That was so exciting to get that 3,500 knocked out. That was March of 2019, maybe April, but it was when we got my tax return. This next one was a really big deal. So you notice we went from, there was March and then we had to go three months until another one and then another six months until another one. But this was a big deal. So I have a video about this card and it is called My Debt Fail and I will leave a link to it down in the description. If you haven't seen it, it walks you through the process that I had to go through. All of these credit cards that I've talked to you about I had set up payment plans, anything that had my name on them. I had set up payment plans, all of them except city card. City card was my biggest credit card balance and I was terrified to call them and man, did that ever bite me. So I talk all about that whole very traumatic experience. They ended up suing me and, um, it was very, it was very difficult for me. So for those of you who may not know, before this all happened, in before we went on a budget in February of 2018, and before my husband got sick the year before, about six months before, and and had we stopped getting his income, I had never ever in my life not paid all my bills. So this happening was extremely upsetting for me. And everybody has everybody has their own relationship with money and how it affects them and that kind of thing. I am not trying to say that my feelings are more valid than somebody else who maybe wasn't upset by something like this. My point is for me, this was extremely traumatic and very emotional, this whole thing. And let me just also link another video. I actually link it in all of my all of my um, descriptions now, and it is my sick and tired of being sick and tired moment. So if you don't know that part of our story, I will have that down below as well, along with some other things. Um, I'll just include several things that talk about our story in the description. So if you're new here and you want to learn, you know, the backstory behind how we got here, you can hear all about it. This city card getting paid off was a big deal. This was just this past December and we settled it. We paid a total of $8,827. My last payment was $1,561 in December of 2019. And man, did that ever feel good. I was so happy to have that paid off. It was a 24 month payment plan. After they took me to court, I went ahead and set up a payment plan and I got it paid off in 18 months. So man, I was so glad to be done with that one. The next one is something that just showed up on my budget report that, which was my last video for June of 2020. And that is that we paid off my 401k loan. So that started at $6,068 and it took uh, 2,200 something in June to get that paid off. So yeah, that one's gone as well. So that is a total of 22 debts, I believe. Let me see the count. That is a total of 22 debts that we have paid off and the total comes to $33,383. And by doing this exercise, I realized that the things I've been reporting in my budget report every month of what we've been, what we've paid off, I was missing some things. I didn't have them all there. So that's been updated for July. So you'll be able to see that in July. Now let's go talk about our current debts that we owe money on. We still have, let's see how many we have left. We have uh, $187,421 and it's a total of 20 debts here. So, and by the way, I'm doing that and that's showing me a, a total down here in the corner off the screen. That's how I'm getting that. So let's see here. Um, let's start with, uh, why are these green? I don't remember why I made them green, but, um, oh, these are all the ones from Matt that are 
These are all credit cards, all these ones in green here, um, and they are no longer with the original creditor. They're long, they've long been sold off at least once, if not two or three times to collections agencies. And um, per Matt's request, we are not actively paying on these right now. So um, it's a total of, it's 9,000 something. Let me see what it is here. $9,882 is what's what we have here. And so we're not paying on any of these. Um, this one, this medic EMS that we had to add, this was from the end of 2019. Actually, this is an ambulance bill from my accident in November of 2018. And I was taken by ambulance to the hospital and my, uh, the, the accident was my fault. I had $5,000 in medical for myself on my policy. So the hospital visit pretty much ate up like all but 300 of that. And they billed immediately. And then the ambulance service billed and only got a couple hundred bucks, maybe $300 from, from my auto insurance. And then they billed my private health insurance, which is through Matt, my husband. He and the insurance company screwed up the claim. They processed it as out of network and paid nothing when it was an emergency and I didn't have a choice. You know, the ambulance shows up, you get in and go. So anyway, I am still, it is now July of 2020 and I'm still fighting that. And I just talked to the insurance company last week about it, hoping that this will be resolved by the end of this quarter. But anyway, so that's what that is. I had to set up a, a payment arrangement so that we wouldn't get sent to, to collections because the insurance didn't pay. So anyhow, so that's what that is. And then we have, um, we already talked about these in green. Then we have this care credit credit card. This one's mine. And we current so here, we started at 2779 and we currently owe $1,379 and we've paid off 1400. And then we have, we'll skip to this GM card for me. This one's in collections. Um, we started at $3,645. I have a payment arrangement with them and um, we're down to $2,995. And this this total paid off here, I'm not really talking about it, but you can see the, the numbers here. I apologize that I haven't referenced those. You can see how much we've paid on each one. And by the way, on this Walmart one, like this is one that, 515 is what we had in February of 2018, but um, there there must have been some fees or something that got added. And so that's why this is showing negative. Then let's see here, uh, the UAS student loan, this is Matt's private student loan. And we started at $5,765 and it's at $5,345. So we've paid off $420. So now my Lowe's card, this is mine. And um, we started out with $9,006 and it is down to $4,066. So we've paid over half of that off. Now I'm going to scroll up a little bit here. The reason why I have these boxed off and in purple is because they're related to one another. So this is actually a visa. It's a credit card that I had and it's technically been paid off. We started at $15,307 and we paid it off in April of 2020. And the way we paid it off was with the home equity line of credit that we took out on our house. And I swore I would never, ever do that. I, I mean, Matt talked about doing that from really early on when we first met to help pay off debt and stuff. And I, I, I was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. And I think part of the reason why I knew not to do it was because of how terrible we were with spending and we weren't managing our money. And now that we have things so much more under control, we were paying 17.49% on this credit card and we were getting nowhere. And by taking out the HELOC on the house, we pay 6.25%. And that is a huge difference. And we expect this to be, it was actually like a 10 year loan that they gave us for whatever reason. We expect this to be paid off in about two and a half years. And we made our first payment in May of 2020. So um, I added the difference because that was a $16,900 loan. So I subtracted 15307 from 169 and it shows that we added $1,593. That's why those are here together because yes, I paid this off, but I really didn't get rid of $15,307 in debt. So our current balance on the HELOC is 16430 We've paid off $470. 
Next up is our car. Uh, this is our only car payment. And we started, um, it was actually like 38,000 or something when we first bought it. But when we started in 2018, we owed $32,656. Today we owe $20,095. So we've paid off 12,561. And that's got a pretty good interest rate on it because we did that in December of 2016, which was before everything hit the fan. My, I had really good credit then um, and all of that. And I think we got it for like 5.15% or something is what we pay on it. It's not bad at all. Then we're into our, our really big ones here. So student loans, these are mats. These are all federal student loans. So they're currently in uh, forbearance, I think is what they're calling it. And there's no payments due for the whole country. If you have, uh, for in the United States, uh, because of the CARES Act due to the coronavirus pandemic. So, um, he actually owes so much child support that he never has to make payments on his student loans, but they continue to accrue interest. So what we had started doing in January before the pandemic hit, was we started paying 225 a month to them just to stay ahead of the interest because it was $45,000 or maybe $47,000 in loans that is up to almost $52,000. Is that right? No, they started, I think, at $39,000 and it's up to almost $52,000. So now we were just trying to get ahead of the interest and just stay ahead of it a little bit um, to prevent that that principle from getting so high. And so anyway, we aren't paying anything right now that it's not accruing any interest or anything. Putting all of that money, that 225 that we would have paid to student loans has all been going to our emergency fund. So anyhow, we have, um, there was 6,571 that was added. This is our current balance, 51,781. So it was like 39 something when he came out of school. It was 45, 210 by the time we got to February of 2018. And by the way, he got out of school in December of 2013. So he went to school while we were married. And um, so here's where we are today. Big old negative on that one. Then we have the child support arrearage. Thought I estimated he owed about 47.5. We didn't have access online and um, it actually was off by a little bit. So I had to add in 843. So currently today he owes $30,531. And by the way, Matt has uh, four children that he uh, owed child support for and all of them were very young when the order started. So um, that's why the arrearage is so high. And and there's more to that story, but, um, you know, that builds up over time and he wasn't able to pay all the time. And so, so here we are and his current balance is 30,531. We have paid off almost $17,000 of what was owed on the child support. And then this is for, this is a personal loan to my mom and dad, um, from my mom and dad, excuse me, they uh, loaned us some money and, um, it actually accrued interest because we couldn't pay for a long time. So it's up pretty high too, but this is where we started in February of 2018 and uh, at 48,876 and we are at 44,752. So we've paid off $4,124. And I just want to say that um, some people get really upset when they see this and the fact that we only pay them $200 a month and um, in our budget report. And here's what I want to say about that. My parents are incredibly supportive of the efforts that we are making to get our finances right. And the thing that they have stressed all along is focus on other things, like things that you have to pay interest on and worry about us later. And so we have gradually increased what we're paying them every month over the course of the years that we've been doing this. And every year I increase it. But for now, we are focusing on other things that are costing us more money to have debt on. Let's talk about the totals. So the starting balance was 251,156. We added $12,499 in debt. And today we have $187,421 in debt that we owe, and we have paid off $68,821. Now, the other thing that I included here, just so you get a full picture, is 
our mortgage because we do we we own our home but i mean we own our home we have a mortgage on our home uh, we are not renters uh, we are paying for our home and so when we started this whole thing in february of 2018 we owed ninety eight thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars on our house today we owe ninety two thousand eight hundred and two dollars on the house so we have paid off five thousand nine hundred and fifty eight dollars on our mortgage over the last two and a half years and so when you add that into things, you can see we started at 349,916. We added another 12,000 um, along the way. And then today our current balance that we owe for everything is $280,223. And the amount that we have paid toward all of our debts of any sort since we started in February of 2018 is $74,778. So that is our debt update. And um, if you want to know more about how we handle them, I do a, a budget setup video and a budget report every month. So I set up, you know, at the end of June, I set up July. And um, at the beginning of July, I report on June. So I just put up our June budget report uh, just uh, earlier this week in the first week of July. So anyhow, that is our progress. We're really happy with this. We're over 25% of the way through all of our consumer debt. This, this part here, this line, uh, we're over 25% of the way through that. And we just hit that, that mark in June of 2020. And while it's slow going because we have chosen to focus on savings in 2020, which was a decision we made before the pandemic hit, but man, was that ever a good choice. <laughs> The pandemic has just shown and confirmed for us that there was a good reason for us to do that. And so we've been very lucky that we've continued to work through the entire thing. But, you know, th that might not always be the case. Having that savings is so incredibly important. And man, does it ever make my security gland feel better. That is our debt progress. I'm, you know, if you made it this far, thanks for sticking around till the end. Up next, I will link all of our budget reports. So if you want to check those out, then I will put the um, right down here. I'm sorry, I guess it's over here. I'm going to put the link to our budget reports playlist. So check it out if you're interested. That's all I've got for you today. Till next time.